I've been asked on a number of occasions, so if you were to start again, what would you do differently and what would you keep the same? Um, I think the, uh, so there are uh, several learning lessons associated from this and key messages. One is to um, get commitment from your organisation and um, the way we did that was to demonstrate where we had areas for improvement um, based on, you know, we have an ability to make that should we be given the resource and um, commitment. The Navigator service, um, we um, we started um, with a team thinking we needed a team of 10 to run a service that was um, 8 till 8 every day and over the weekends. But we analysed those calls and the number of calls coming in. We've since trimmed the service to run um, 8 till 6 in the evenings and, um, make, be, and because it was not worthwhile the calls that we were getting in after that time. And that we use um, the weekend time, we have minimal calls coming in, but we have a commitment to patients to provide the service. So we've um, enhanced that role so that the weekend working is more efficient and they can do other supportive tasks, administrative tasks uh, at the same time. Um, a continual learning programme for the navigators is essential. They link with the MDT. They need to understand where services are available and visit those services. And so we do um, continual orientation or reorientation. Um, we have team meetings. We've, insta uh, we've um, established a supervisor to uh, manage the local day-to-day -day problems with the service should they arise as somebody, a go-to person. Um, from the clinical nurse specialist perspective, if I was to uh, be able to establish 11 posts again in the future, I would probably establish them all at a band 7, but um, employ band 6 nurse, uh, nurses into a proportion of those posts to have them developed, so that once that they had met their uh, competencies and learning outcomes and they were proficient in their role there would be an automatic up uplift back to the band seven um, so we can we have had some nurses as a band six but probably uh, performing in reality at a band seven um, but of course the establishment didn't support um, an uplift of those particular posts and I would certainly urge people if they were doing a similar thing to look at that bottom end of the establishment but also to consider what you do at the top end when you've got senior nurses working at a certain level how do we retain and keep them in the system I would certainly recommend that you consider what your future plan might be to ensure that you can retain um, that group of nurses because of course they're very employable by a lot of other organisations and may um, leave probably for the wrong reasons and so that, that you know, they, they would like to gain promotion and I think we always need to have some capacity to deal with that issue should it arise.